Greetings to all, this is Invisible with you speaking. And uh, not long ago, I read the question from my friend Marcos about why did I change exactly. First and foremost, when I began this channel at 20, uh, 2007, 2007, I began it primarily just to make comments on videos of other content creators that uh, made let's plays, animal uh, funny videos, and the movie trailers when I was still young, maybe in mid middle school. And mostly this channel's only purpose was literally to just allow me to comment as I wished before Papa, before Sova, before the curse that is the copyrights uh, abusage uh, system. And uh, typically, I just wanted to write down what I thought of some uh, content uh, options. That was literally it. With time, I began to question how does someone actually make these videos to begin with it. Especially after I saw some people doing let's plays, making funny videos. I thought, why didn't I just share what I have got myself? And uh, maybe I could uh, help someone else. I had some knowledge in computing, some jokes uh, to share with. There's other times when, before I even got my personal Nokia Navigator, with its 2 megapixels uh, camera only. Later on, I began uh, experiencing some seriously weird glitches in my original PlayStation 2 Slim when I was still had uh, my CRT TV. And uh, I thought, why not uh, share these uh, stupid uh, moments with the adults for the sake of just entertainment? Then the curse that was Alphabet happened. Alphabet is the mother uh, company of Google. When Google bought YouTube and uh, we used to show our admiration and our liking to music bands and artists when we used their varied lyrics and their uh, musics to make remixes and uh, make some fan-made uh, WMV uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker uh, video stuff, make some captions, do some memes, you know the thing. You hear a song that you like so much and you wish to show your love and the creativity towards the original artists, so you pick up some uh, made up for yourself, uh, by yourself cutscenes and you smash them together so that you get a very uniquely descriptive uh, videos of the song lyrics and whatnot. Yeah, those were the things that I used to make early on. Then I began uh, watching other people making lots of plays like Sugar Connery, Ride the Brad, or uh, CPTV and whatnot. And I thought to myself, why not uh, make my own things like these to help out people? So mainly my goal of making a YouTube channel was literally to be a source of help for other people. That actually was my personal goal. I'm not monetizing, not getting subscribers or viewers, just helping out. And with that, I managed to publish my first ever videos that were some kind of silly memes for uh, game, game uh, videos and sometimes somehow to do this and that videos 
Mostly were how to chat in uh, MMORPGs. Other times were how to find this or that item in specific games. And then my... Uh, when uh, once I uh, was following a guide for Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy on the GameCube where I played the game on the PS2, the real one, not the emulator. And I found out that... Uh, player who I was following uh, his uh, guide to the letter and instead of opening a certain place by his own he used a glitch in GameCube that doesn't work on the PS2 system I got so much frustrated to the point where I decided if this guide is a fraud and this content creator I mean, uh, recorder, as we used to call them, is not going to help me with this, and he doesn't even know how to get the appropriate items to open up this gate. I decided to make my own version that I searched uh, the game uh, frequent asked questions gamefacts.com for the solution. Just like I did with the same with Okami for the PS2 and uh, I searched for the solutions for um, problems that didn't have guides or even their guides weren't too clear on what to do or how to finish off certain areas and uh, little by little i started to question myself if all you are going to do is just guides upon guides upon guides why not just show people how you play your own way lastly my first ever let's play for project altered beast for the ps2 was born Project Altered Beast was my first ever, I believe, uh, let's play to make it. And the reason was simple, because I didn't see anyone playing it on YouTube at all. None. And then I realized after uh, reading for it on the wiki and on GameFAQs that, simply put, the game was never released on uh, North America. It only was released on Japan and uh, Europe. So the only two versions that existed for it were the Japanese version and the European version. And I got myself the ISO for the European version. And due to the many times our uh, family feuds uh, happened, the PS2 was the center um, weaponized uh, console for when my parents wished to punish me they would break it when my uh, siblings wished to punish me because it was my most uh, cherished uh, machine in the house back then they would break it so it was broken so many times i lost the count the point where simply put the repair shop told me you have to just now use it as is with the pc reading laser inside of it instead of the ps2 because it was broken beyond the fixing to the point where you just use it until it just dies out because there is nothing more they could uh, do about it anymore it was that level of broken thusly i uh, was able now to burn uh, cds and dvds on it using power iso and with that the early on days of quarantine were upon us were BitTorrent, U-Torrent, etc. So I burned lots of uh, games across the world. We used the uh, peer-to-peer technology and that was how I was able to burn for myself a version of Altered Beast because they didn't sell it in uh, the country where I lived at. And I burned an original version of Persona, uh, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3, the normal one. And with that, I opened my, myself to the world of Shin Megami Tensei, the role-playing games, the JRPGs, the Altered Beast uh, beat them up uh, world. And after that, I began buying uh, 
dozens of uh, DVDs read write for uh, even gaming more and more and more throughout usage of uh, ISO images since normal uh, PS2 uh, consoles shouldn't be able to read these kinds of uh, programs but after they have changed from the red laser uh, eye with the life that uh, was originally with the PS2 that only read uh, DVDs from Sony or third party games. Now, with the blue one, the similar one with the PS1, uh, I, we could, uh, I un unintentionally had a fully modded uh, PS2 where it can read the PC DVDs and uh, play the ROM from them. May meaningfully, that means I started pirating games and playing them for free without even meaning to do meaning to do that in the first episode. And with that, I uh, began exploring even more and more further, further the world of gaming. And you ask yourself, how exactly do I have a very big and uh, various library of the PS2 games and PC games? It is very easy, really. I live in country. I used to live in countries where piracy was the norm. If you could buy something, and you could also at the same time burn it for free, just uh, get yourself a PC, get the ROM image for it, and then play it endlessly for free. You had, uh, you better get the cracked version for it. That's what I was taught back then. So I had so many PC DVDs burned with ROMs that I could easily just play them as I wish. At first I played on the CRTV, CRT TV and uh, I used to record with my Nokia Navigator 6010 I think. The phone I just liked it because it had the navigation system on it before Google uh, Maps was ever invented, and before uh, Wazer uh, was also invented. So, I actually never truly used the navigation system in my life before. And um, I ended up just using its 2 megapixels uh, camera to record some stuff. Uh, certain uh, events possibly lightning uh, storms, other uh, events that I wish to keep in mind and for... Uh, you, you could say that it's pseudo-journalism. Fake journalism is what I used to make. And with that very bad quality, I used to record stuff, I believe, at maximum 380 pixels per video. And I used to use uh, Bluetooth technology with my Acer laptop, the first, first uh, laptop I ever uh, bought, uh, with Windows Vista on it, to give myself backups from these videos, and then upload them onto, the, onto either a, an external storage that was a hard disk, or uh, record Let's Plays and uh, upload them to YouTube. Once again, as I told you, I didn't ever before use uh, screen capture. I never used uh, the streaming system before because it didn't even exist yet. And uh, with time, I started uh, recording what supposedly was the right amount of uh, time per video, the 15 to 20 minutes at maximum. Obviously, with that kind of uh, restriction in time, um, recorded very decent footage and the content was very hard. And even I... Um, when I started uh, first using Windows Movie Maker, so far, uh, even now, it is my most preferred um, software for editing since it is very uh, user friendly, very easy to use, and not uh, too heavy on the CPU. I believe that most of the more uh, professional uh, editors use uh, Sony Vegas or something else, but I remind you that the only editing software or hardware I have is just a laptop, not a PC or a working station.
our hanging station is a super uh, customized uh, desktop uh, made uh, built not for gaming but rather for exceptionally heavy and hard rendering they use this only in uh, factories and companies and whatnot it is used as for very hard uh, endur endurance uh, work high end so since i only had my laptop back then i only made the very humble modest uh, videos with sometimes commentary sometimes with not and honestly recording the sound directly from the crtv CRT TV while it is a blasting into my face and um, directly from its speakers weren't mostly my most uh, uh, fond memories uh, per se and um, checking with the uh, brightness the quality was very much bad still it was a very honest job frankly speaking then uh, after i found myself uh, gaming a little bit by little bit on my laptop and everyone on my classroom um, recommended for me to always only buy a laptop based on the graphics card settings I uh, ended up buying an Alienware MX14, uh, I think, a 14-inch uh, screen uh, size, and then I began to even more uh, use it for uh, college, high school, more rendering. I began really to hate using the laptop for uh, uh, studying and the rendering for my own uh, projects since uh, typically I want what I wanted was a gaming laptop for my own self then uh, I built a PC desktop for the sake of the college but sadly it was uh, even though it was super uh, strong I originally wanted it to be for Skyrim modding only <laughs> for enough my parents forbidden me from uh, using it for anything other than education so I was forbidden from using it altogether Lastly, when my uh, inner fell out and I uh, noticed that no matter what kind of videos I recorded, I spent around two to three years with zero viewers completely altogether. My channel was simply put without a partnership or a partner sponsors. I never intended my YouTube uh, experience to be about advertisements or about business. It was just a hobby where I showed my commitment for projects that I desired to do and the creativeness was the uh, usage of uh, songs, lyrics, um, the editing, the movie maker uh, videos everything was just to a show off for the creativity i had in mind appreciation for the music uh, bands or uh, brands uh, let's a place to show people how to do stuff or uh, how to solve uh, certain uh, puzzles my approach to this website was not intended for money from the very start my approach was just to help out people share uh, art share games just something fun to do and then the biggest apocalypse happened when the cursed algorithm system arrived and everything became monetized ads sponsorships and the bigger companies invaded and occupied the site after the, the rules for the copyrights uh, arrived and began destroying the channel after channel after channel no more was culture sharing allowed no more was creativity allowed no more was uh, creative uh, editing allowed no more was fan uh, made videos and uh, edits custom made uh, thumbnails or intros and outros were allowed anymore if you dare to use songs or uh, 
drone goes or wallpaper from companies they will strike you and then the infamous scare said uh, policy for nintendo that anyone who made the nintendo content they would take 70 percent of your revenue simply put youtube uh, went from being for you and by you made to be made by companies who didn't care about anything other than revenue and once everything just became became money 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 and nothing but money everything should be now up to five to ten minutes maximum so that it can become a trend instantly unless you are a big viral uh, content maker then you should just get killed for real uh, many of the smaller channels now have it so much harder to kickstart themselves um, if you don't use capture cards or have the Hollywood level of quality and uh, experience in software usage, the 3D Max, the After Effects, the Gamma playing, the what was that um, program again? The 3D animation. Simply put, when you place the modest, humble uh, utility that was in at first the uh, possible for us content creators the homemade videos creators to use and to uh, license every all of that became nothing because companies now had tv and film uh, making uh, advantages with corporals uh, behind them basically when users created the platform in the first place now it was the company's turn to take all of our hard work and place their own uh, watermark on it claiming that it's no more youtube it's company tube it's no more YouTube, it's capitalism tube, it's no more YouTube, it is copyrights, copyrights tube. Basically, give people a land for them to create it into something that is respected, that is uh, profitable, and then literally pull them all into one line and decapitate them while you use their very blood as fertilizer for the land after that you occupy the land and call it your own and then it is yours for just collecting the revenue that's literally it that's why many people moved out completely to twitch to daily motion to a flood society there are so many other video broadcasting websites out there but the thing is youtube is the most well known because google and alphabet ad advertising this uh, this website alone and because other websites don't have big advertisers or even uh, support from other bigger capitalize, uh, capitalism centric companies or factories to back them up and sponsor them and with that I preach when I uh, spent nine years working my back for this channel and even getting pneumonia due to the poor uh, health uh, situations I put myself through so that I could uh, make great, bigger, and more creative uh, content for this channel previously. And once I reached over 1,300 uh, videos, I found out that no matter what kind of um, effort I place into this channel, unless I have someone else to partner with me, unless I have a partnership or sponsor to get revenue fr from my channel which was never my goal at all uh, once i noticed that my uh, machine the laptops i used could no longer keep up with the graphical demands for the games or the programs that i needed to render i just understood that perhaps this was not meant for me in the first place.
So I quit YouTubing altogether. I deleted all my videos because I didn't want anyone to steal from me my content. And also, I wanted to check if uh, maybe with the absence of my content, um, someone would be affected or maybe someone would uh, demand me to return back to, you know, thinking as if I ever had some kind of a value within the community of this website. So by 2000 and uh, I believe maybe six or seven, I finished off purging my channel altogether from all the videos on it. And uh, I said that uh, looks like I was never wanted on this website. And I simply entered this website like a parasite and was kicked out of it without even being noticed as if i was a parasitic being that was uh, eaten by the website and then shat into the floor without even having been known at all so basically i was a ghost i entered it and exited it without having left any kind of uh, legacy or value really. after that i spent some years just watching videos leaving comments for my fellow friends who i met throughout the um, years i spent making content and uh, the more things have changed the more i realized that companies and factories have turned this uh, entire website literally into a kindergarten play ground because people from my own generation had uh, grown up gotten married and wanted to just have some peace and quiet time so they gave this cursed website for their kids to play with and then the madness for the kinks and weird the weirdness and the lunacy of this website came out by showing you the kids in quotation marks videos even though youtube for kids already exists they want to have both uh, websites for kids exclusively for family friendly content exclusively and no more adult content no more teenage content no more graphic content no more blood no more violence in short unless you are making uh, family friendly content unless you are prepared to make your channel and your content exclusively for kids zero years to ten years you are better off getting out of the house tying genus and getting hung Because unless you are prepared to force yourself into a disgusting, cursed, broken by design algorithm, then nobody wants you, nobody cares about you, and frankly put, you should be ashamed that you exist, your parents should be ashamed that they give birth to you, and even God should be ashamed for creating you in the first place, so please do us all a favor and die and get a hell where you belong. That's the message I discovered this website is giving us all. Basically, unless you are prepared to go viral with the trendy revenue making, money making videos and content, unless you are prepared to be a cog in this cursed world with its cursed capitalistic policy and system, unless you are prepared to become a a US dollar for this website then nobody wants you nobody cares about you nobody wants you around nobody asked for you to be around simply put just die <laughs> this website is no more for users it is no more for viewers it's only for cash 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 <laughs> Unless you are ready to give, bring it cash, it's a new god, then nobody wants you, nobody allows you to be, to stay here, and frankly, unless you wish to be, to 
become a merchant by making content, making merchandise for yourself and selling yourself as merchandise, as a humanoid biological merchandise. You are not a no more human, you are just a brand. Then leave. Nobody wants you. And you are not even allowed upon this uh, website anymore. YouTube originally was made by two Indian brothers in India and then was sold. I don't really remember the full story for it until it became completely international where everybody were able to upload to it videos. Then the capitalism arrived and with it the human element in it died officially. And now with the abusable very easily destroyable copyright system in uh, in this website no more no morality doesn't matter anymore um content variety doesn't matter anymore as long as you're going to make all of your content family friendly for kids exclusively or for uh, sponsors who will support you and give you money on patreon since uh, PayPal is no longer an available option for uh, the creators. And frankly enough, the, the internet is uh, continuously disapproving and discouraging us from making anything that is not for kindergarten so that it keeps the internet for kindergarten children, zero years to 10 years. Anything that is above 11 is forbidden because looks like adult only content or teenage content that has too much uh, vulgarity, too much nudity. And with nudity, I literally took about bikinis and uh, swimsuits. These things are now seen as too far too much. So, uh, frankly enough, if you don't just make something that's like Minecraft, everything is a blocky, like Lego. Um, once again, I return to my main point, unless it is for kindergarten, if it, even if it was uh, educational, you're not allowed anymore to make content that is that is suitable for your, or your own audience of adults and teenagers. Because simply put, some sick lunatics, brainless, uh, kinky people you could call them just love to see the world burn by making it children friendly quote in quote content where everything is completely messed up and everything is just cursed content which by now is being seen as a joke Frankly speaking, the only reason why I returned back to YouTubing was because I finished my college education and I couldn't find a career path that was uh, suitable for me. I am an INFJ, a person with the creativity overall. I like writing books, I like reading uh, stuff, I like uh, gaming, I like uh, exploring cultures and languages and whatnot. So since I couldn't find myself any career path to go for, and funny enough, after YouTubing for nine years without any profit at all, my parents simply told me uh, about why not to return to YouTubing and this time monetize my channel. Only for me to find out about the cursed uh, rule about the 4,000 videos. Now, they just uh, uh, added it. <laughs> and uh, even if I do join in with the YouTube partnership program, YPP, to start uh, monetizing my videos, I am not a person that will curse you with ads in between uh, videos. That means I have, that the only option I have left for me is either via Patreon or PayPal. But once again, if you, if I dare to post anything that is only adult only related, both of them will shut me down. So I uh, will have eventually to uh, sell some merchandise, meaning I will have to become what I rejected from the very start, which is a merch. A merchandise in the shape of a human. You do realize very well that every YouTuber has always two personalities. 
the persona for the brand and the personality that you live in with your the rest of your life normally and if those both got too much tangled entangled you will no longer know if you were a youtuber or if you were a human being for me i hope that i'll ever have merchandise i mean uh, so far with the reach and engagement uh, nothing really changed from my nine years and uh, once I finish my studying, most likely I'll have to search for a very traditional normal job since uh, so far I think I have changed and uh, I don't see truly a future for this itself if this continues happening. If I cannot gain any income or revenue from this channel which is the only reason why I returned back. I have a very big number of games and I have a very big possibility for gaming non stop. But uh, again, without revenue, without uh, getting capital, there's no reason at all for me to keep on going for this channel anymore. So, yeah, what has changed about me is not that I have given up on my creativity or gaming or altogether. <laughs> Um, free to make uh, designs or game or gaming. It's just that I am starting to think now as a grown up who doesn't have a source for his income, and I'm trying to get a source of income from something that I am experienced with. And uh, my parents so far don't believe that I can do it. They still um, insist on me that uh, YouTube and gaming both aren't a real job. And what happens in uh, South Korea of esports and tournaments where players are uh, given lots of money, they even told me if you can uh, enter into the cryptocurrency market and uh, win some cash, it would be good. If I can uh, buy some stocks and get some cash, it would be even better. Uh, meaning my life has is started to turn from being creativity focused into being capitalistic focused since uh, the world around us is changing the generation i came from the millennials is changing into gen z and everybody right now wishes to become a youtuber to win revenue and overall the entire platform has been ruined radically and beyond salvation or redemption at all so now the only people who truly um, who truly win from this uh, website are the companies and the capitals only the multi-billionaires who already have more than enough money to last them 5,000 life uh, lives onwards one after the other and yet they, it looks like greed is a, is a true sin i'm upon us basically speaking i'm trying my best to please my viewers and uh, subscribers to the point where i could start making some kind of product or content that is worth uh, paying money for and supporting looks like so far i haven't done anything that's worth uh, marketing or even um, paying for since all of the content so far i'm making for you is for free i don't have any ads yet and no sponsorships um, approached me even though i made a gmail exclusively for that uh, reason only Meaning B basically looks like the failure I had in my nine years previously is carrying with me throughout uh, the rest of uh, this time. I am uh, let's playing more recently released games in hopes that I might be able to encourage others to uh, approach my channel and uh, support it but looks like maybe youtube is not was never meant for me in the first place to begin with it 
I am a bachelor in architect, and now I am studying getting my master's for graphics design. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up indeed shutting down my channel forever altogether, or making 3D videos or animations in it as uh, my uh, main source of income and revenue. I am an introvert, so I don't like to be bossed around or uh, have my... I just wish to have my own schedule for uh, working without being forced into something that I hate. But looks like uh, the older joke that became the reality you can never get your salary or income and, unless you work for someone you hate into something that you hate and overall just unless you are wasting your life for real you will never be able to achieve anything meaning simply put unless you accept slavery by option you will die a poor, uh, poor person and frankly speaking with all that has happened to, with me throughout my years i'm in my late 20s by uh, by now i have never lived a single day doing what I desired to do. Never. You think that I'm exaggerating, but honestly, throughout my life I have wasted 18 years in school. I never learned in it anything that, is, that helped me develop myself, except for maybe calculus, maybe language, maybe some history. But um, honestly, the only classes I ever loved were the computer, um, the computing uh, class and the biology class. Then I was forced to go into college to, for architecture because my parents had experience in it and had some plans for me upon graduation. I hate physics, I hate math, and I hate calculus altogether. My brain is for fantasy, for drawing, for coloring, for writing. My brain is not for calculus, or physics, or uh, formulas at all. Then I thought about why not uh, study computer science, or uh, just uh, do something that I care about, but no. I was informed that too many people are studying computer science. The one science that never stop keep, keeps evolving, and uh, there's no point in uh, trying to get a business into it, a job. So I ended up just uh, where I am right now. Over 20 years was spent doing nothing. Yeah, all that time, all that uh, age was wasted over nothing. Yes, I got to gather, I got graduated, I got some certificates, I got some degrees, but if I am literally nothing more than the degree that I hold or the cash in my account or wallet, if that's all what I am literally just letters and degrees and numbers, then uh, frankly enough, I shouldn't be human to begin with that. I should be just a piece of green paper or red paper with a number on it and a, gr and a grid. That's it. Humans should be able to use their brains beyond just calculus, language, and uh, problem, problem solving. That's where the cartoonists and the movie makers come from. People with the creativity that created their very own worlds under their very own rules. And then you could uh, talk about where Dungeons and Dragons, the role-playing uh, society was created from. All the inventors throughout the history were dropouts. They rejected schooling, they rejected the way we studied in a, uh, frankly enough, um, factory designed the system only for us throughout the world with uh, World War One and Two Worlds. Everyone only desired factory workers, people who just stood in the front of their build and the made the products non-stop. 
now that we have are done with that kind of uh, job, we are now in the 20th century, 2022, yet nothing has changed at all. Some people asked me, what would your uh, dream work be like? When I was younger, I wanted to make my own comics, my own uh, careers, books, maybe comics, maybe games, films, etc. My entire uh, learning was completely creative, artistic, etc. When I was even younger, I used to draw stories with uh, an art uh, class. People drew portraits with certain topics or subjects. I drew, then erased, then drew, then erased. You could say that uh, without even knowing it, uh, instinctively, instinctively, I was literally creating a flip notes uh, animation throughout the class. And once I, um, you could say, woke up unconsciously looking at people um, watching me with weird uh, looks and uh, seeing me making background sounds, uh, voice acting uh, characters and even uh, back background the music, the erasing this and that with the eraser, throwing some more uh, details with the pencil and then coloring it on with uh, pencil colors um, wood colors or even water colors that was a very weird uh, experience to say the least so yeah my uh, personal uh, leaning is artistic my dream job would be to turn what I write or uh, text I write or uh, drawings I make into films and video games. My complete uh, leaning is uh, artistic, not uh, per se educational or uh, career wise. I support creativeness. I love uh, comics. I love art. I hate things that are oversaturated, overestimated, and overblown uh, blown up. And yet, the world around me only encourages the extroversion. Complete extroversion. It encourages getting married, having kids, working in companies, uh, climbing up the steps or the, the stairs uh, for becoming CEOs, principals, educationers. I'm living in a society where the traditional the, uh, jobs before the first and the second world wars are the only ones that are seen as actual real jobs not anything else the point where uh, currently whoever studies cyber security or uh, 3d animation or even anim 2d animation 3d animation uh, gaming programming is all seen as alien knowledge, something that only the aristocrats can learn. If you couldn't tell by now, my mother language is not English. But I'd rather not uh, comment any further about it. Yes, I am Canadian. My mother language is not English, but uh, I am Canadian. A Canadian uh, citizen. <laughs> I don't say it, uh, my mother language is not English because I don't have a mother language per se. I learned four languages, English, Arabic, a little bit of Japanese, and a little bit of French. Which one is my material language? Doesn't matter. So, yeah.
when you wish to do something and you cannot do it because it's not the norm when you're leaning and your expect expectations are not what you uh, can find and when everybody is expecting you to just live on with the way they were taught to live on and that unless you get yourself a family unless you work in a company unless you get salary just like anyone else salary person basically a salary worshipping individual where you must keep kissing the butt of the mat that you work for non-stop and without other people you cannot uh, basically live basically put um, if you're not an extrovert that loves to be social in this world you if you are an introvert you are not welcome anywhere in any shape or form you have to be an extrovert you have to be so much socially active you have to be talkative you have to be working for someone else because uh, nobody truly dares to try out being an entrepreneur nobody dares to change the norm except lord the other variety of options because simply put everyone is afraid of a change so now i am uh, recording these videos in confusion because i don't know myself what to do anymore what do i want to do who am i what do i want to become and uh, it's simple but if you cannot find your path throughout the world of the business and working you will have to do something to stay occupied it's not that you have you need some time for yourself to find out what identity you can uh, work with no it's either you must stay active or you will have to go back to education because unless you wish to start working and getting money the only other path in life to exist is not self-exploring or self-developing but rather it's either um, give yourself uh, more education or uh, get yourself capital money that's it if you wish to um, learn newer stuff you'll have to go to the education path if you wish to explore yourself they will call it it's a waste of time if uh, you wish to start your own business they will tell you instead of uh, starting from scratch just uh, apply for a job basically my options around me in this country and this world are extremely restrictive to the point where frankly enough death is the better option between everything else yes i said it taking care of your own life is not even worth it if you cannot be who you wish to be if you cannot reach the distances that you dream of reaching if you are not allowed to travel through the world and seek your true purpose and your true goal if you cannot do what you wear born to be and only follow what other people demand of you then you are as good as dead there's no point even in going on anymore what else do you think i uh, got my depression from the world is so much very restrictive to the point where it's not even funny sorry about this one hour almost uh, long audio upload but frankly enough, uh, I will not repeat the mistakes of everyone that's around me. I will not bring with me or after me heritage or legacy to just place them in the very situation that I am right now living in. If I cannot find my path and I cannot find my calling, and if my calling itself was rejected non stop, then I will not bring any of spring. I don't want to get married. I don't want to bring any clouded children. I, once I vanish, I want everything about me to vanish alongside with me. If the world rejects me for who I am and what I wish to become, if the world just gave people based on birthright 
but they have power of might, of wisdom, of capital. Then uh, it's not anymore um, a system of merit or faith or even positions. It's a system of birthrights. You are born to work under others until the day you die. And uh, simply put, having rights to do anything is just an illusion. Because until, unless you somehow gain the power to back you up and have control upon the situation you are in, frankly, I know for a fact that I will die without having lived a single day. What am I? I'm simply um, an animated corpse that's just following orders. That's it. Sorry that it went south very fast and I became so much depressed. <laughs> I just wish to answer your question, Marcus. Why did Invisible change? Invisible change because before the depression he had obtained, he just wished to help out others. Invisible changed because before, now. His intentions and desires were very pure and simple. Just wished to help others. Wish to say that that's what I loved. But then education happened, and after it, disappointments happened, and then after it, depression and suicidal thoughts happened. After that, communal colic depression was reached and achieved. Congratulations. After that, the search for purpose, the search for a reason to keep going on completely failed and in the end uh, hold it hold it and uh, please take that out of you thank you very much Matthew that was my, my sibling Matthew of 21 yes. never mind him anyway I think uh, yes so after uh, I gained my melancholic depression, the depression that deprived me from sensing any kind of joy in my life at all, I simply went to therapy for uh, five or six therapists, and uh, all the medications I got were for nothing, literally. And I'm just uh, accepting the fact that I had this problem, and I said to just live with it, regardless. After all, who, who, who would care? I can no longer differentiate between my own uh, shatter with myself and when my depression is the one that's talking. Frankly enough, I have reached even the point where if I am not depressed, I cannot feel anything. And I am my own self. Meaning, uh, simply put, the persona that depression created from me is who I am. If I get rid of it, I will be nobody. The medications I took deleted from me the sensing of uh, sadness and angriness. But once I did so, I discovered that uh, without them both, I have nothing else to feel. Yes, I become very much more productive, but uh, to what uh, end? I feel like I am not myself anymore, because I cannot feel anything anymore. So, yeah. Frankly so speaking, if I cannot uh, reach something by a certain age, I don't think there's point in staying in this world anymore. If a certain age reaches me without having found yet my purpose or what to do or what, uh, how do I find what is meant for me to do? 
how do I find myself in this planet that is right now worshipping money and capitalism and nothing else? If I cannot find something that is useful or worthwhile to, to invest my the rest of my survival in it, then might as well just stop it, stop it altogether. If there is no point for me existing to begin with it, then why should I keep going? Gaming and YouTubing and uh, recording stuff are just a uh, temporal tranquilizer. Trying to find something for me to do that is as close to what I wish to do as possible. Gaming and uh, sharing with you my views and my points of view, my points, views, and opinions are one thing that I could do exactly the same if I wrote books or I narrated the stuff that I like to write about. But once again, nowadays opinions that are uh, rated as viral or as not safe for families are not welcome anymore. The world is not um, a desire to live in place anymore, for fact speaking. And uh, I don't see a future to, that's worth living for anymore. You just survive until the moment either you take your life or this takes you. Regardless, whichever is the first one to do so, it doesn't really matter. My views became so much nihilistic. My uh, enthusiasm is over. And frankly speaking, perhaps watching anime shows, reading manga, waiting for game release after game release, exploring the indie games uh, market, making uh, videos, learning languages, um, perhaps checking uh, web comics, the things that you usually do for uh, leisure time for taking a break, listening to music or songs, supporting your friends with commentary or with shout outs, eating too much sugar or uh, eating caffeinated. All what I'm doing is not a purpose for living. All what I'm doing literally is just a tranquilizer something to do so that I don't have to think about what am I doing with my life because for the last time I never lived a moment ever well, what I'm doing education degrees certificates titles just distractions, distractions, that's all I have. This laptop in the front of me right now, uh, Acer the Predator Helios 300, the version of 2019 also, is everything that, that personally I, I have. To my left I have the traveling uh, size bag with the PS2 games, the exterior uh, storage with the PC games, my distractions uh, number is very big. But once again, I remind you, is it better for me to just keep distracting myself via gaming, via education, via college, and via recording videos for YouTube, Twitch, or etc. Or is it better to just sit down, take a moment of silence, think about all of my life and what exactly kind of achievements I ever, never did, and then just collect my cash, go outside of the house, get myself a gun, and end it all. I changed 
to this kind of a person because the world around me forced this change on me. The world changed me to the world to the way it demanded me to become. And here I am. What? Just an animated corpse. If this is what the world demands me to become, congratulations, here I am. If the world wanted me to become a productive individual with goals, with things to do, achievements, then as a surviving life form, a mammal, I'm a complete failure in that kind. I believe this would be about it. It's already over an hour. I should have been by now recording for you Ghostwire Tokyo since I uh, I got the game and I tested it for streaming purposes. And per usual, I will show you that I had to nerf everything graphics related to the zero since my laptop per usual is unable to uh, handle the graphical settings. Most likely the game will be just like Kena Bridge of Spirits on the lowest possible uh, graphical uh, settings, options, and I will just play it until I am tired of it. I hope this video was actually worth making in the first place. Did you have it, Marcus? That's your question answered. <laughs> Why did invisible change? It's because the world around me changed. It's because the environment around me changed. It's because I grew up and now I am more forced into proving myself to everybody that I am actually worth paying for doing some stuff. Truthfully, I did not change. I haven't changed. No, I'm just trying to build up my own brand. Aimlessly. That's it. I better stop this video before I uh, give myself another depression episode. I, I, I'm already right now speaking inside a depression episode. As is. When you hear me talking about nihilistic uh, views, it means I'm already under depression. I better. Uh, start with the ghost wire tokyo as soon as possible so that i spare you all this garbage that's coming out of my mouth peace upon you all